This is rental car number 106, and today I'm driving the 2019 Chevy Impala Premier. This one's a little bit bittersweet for me. I love the Impala. Let's see, I think I've reviewed the 17, the 18, and now the 19. But rumor is this is going to be the last year of the Impala, so, uh, well, I'm a little bit disappointed, but there's still plenty to talk about, so let's jump in and look around. First off, under the hood, you get a six-speed automatic transmission with a 3.6-liter direct injection V6 really hauls too. It's got 305 horsepower and it's pretty decent gas mileage. When you consider that this is a fairly large SUV with a pretty big engine. 19 miles per gallon in the city, 28 on the highway with an 18.5 gallon fuel tank. Gas by me right now in the Chicago suburbs is about $2.75 a gallon. That means you can fill this thing up for about 50 bucks, which isn't too bad for a nice sedan like this. All right, so now we got the basic specs out of the way. Let's talk about what it's actually like to drive this car. Handling is really solid in the Impala. I felt uh, very comfortable going around corners and really comfortable pretty much at any speed. And I, I went a little too fast in this one. I got the Impala up to about 90 miles an hour without really paying attention. Uh, acceleration is also really smooth. The engine sounds amazing. Uh, the hum it creates when you're accelerating hard is almost addictive. I actually found myself accelerating hard often just so I could hear it kind of working. A car and driver thinks you can go 0-60 to 60 in this one in 6.1 seconds. Not sure if that's true because I didn't really have a chance to text it out. They also claim you can go a top speed of 130 miles per hour. I got nowhere near that. I think 90 is way too fast for someone like me, but I was on the interstate, and again, just wasn't paying attention, and the car just kind of pulled me all the way there. Anyway, what I'm trying to say in my long-winded fashion is that uh, if you're thinking about driving or buying this car, don't worry about handling and acceleration because they are both phenomenal. So here's the key fob on the Impala. Five buttons on the front. You have unlock, lock, trunk release, remote start, and panic. If you'll notice, there's not a lot of difference between unlock and lock. It's really my only complaint. It's hard to tell between these two buttons, so you really do have to get used to the remote before you can use it efficiently. Uh, you also have a flip-out key right here. The car's already on, but uh, you turn it on using this button right here that's located on the dash. The steering wheel on this vehicle is pretty nice. Uh, it's wrapped in a nice leather. Cruise controls here on the left-hand side. Buttons to interact with your phone and with the screen in the gauge cluster right here. Wrapped around back, you do have volume rockers back here, so it's really easy to adjust the volume while you're driving. Gauge cluster has a number of nice dials, all accented in blue. RPMs on the left, miles per gallon, oh, miles per gallon, <laughs> speedometer on the right. Up top, you have uh, temperature and fuel gauges. And then you have a pretty nice display right in the center. Let me cycle through a few of the screens so you can get a feel for it. Coolant temperature, average speed, tire pressure, oil life, all kinds of things. It's, it's really nice because the font size on this is large, everything's easy to see, and uh, there's some decent information right here for the vehicle. Moving on to the left of the steering wheel, you get all your standard buttons right here. You can uh, turn on or off the ability for your passengers to operate the windows, standard window controls. Uh, this controls the adjustment of the side view mirrors. Up top you have your door latch and your door locks. Parking brake is located right here and it's electronic parking brake. A dial to adjust uh, the brightness of the display up here. Trunk release and then your parking aids. Then you have a small storage area right here. Look at that! Somebody left some sunglasses. I don't get this very often. This is my third pair in about 230 rentals. Anyway. Side view mirrors, decent size. Let me open the window and show you. Hard to see right here, but you do have a small icon right there that uh, allows you to see if you're blind side. Well, if somebody's in your blind side. A little bit more eloquently, there's blind side detection on this vehicle. It is on both sides of the vehicle as well. Up top, you have three programmable buttons to connect your garage doors to this vehicle. Two lights to illuminate the cabin. Up here you have buttons to interact with OnStar and a panic button. Rear view mirror does not have any buttons on it of any kind. Down below you have a pretty nice touchscreen. It feels a little bit dated, but it's actually pretty easy to use and it has a pretty cool feature. If you press this button right here, the screen pops open and you have kind of a secretive uh, storage space in here with 
a USB port connection. Just press the button again to get that screen to go back down. I like this because uh, it has nice big icon buttons up here so you can navigate through all the features. If you hit home, you get even larger icons with a number of screens that you can play around with. Though, honestly, I spend most of my time on the media tab uh, so I can interact with my phone. Uh, I was able to connect my phone via Bluetooth to this car within a matter of moments. It's really quick and easy and uh, I don't know, works well. Hazard button is located right here. As I mentioned, some controls to interact with the screen, volume rocker, and then a menu button if you uh, don't use one to use the touchscreen itself. Climate controls are really nice. I love that there are digital dials right here to control the temperature so you can see what you set the car at. You also get pop-up screens up here on the uh, display itself to show you how hot you're adjusting the temperature and how strong you're adjusting that fan. Down below, you can see I'm drinking a little bit of iced tea right now, but you do get a small storage space and this has a phone charger. Unfortunately, my phone's a little bit old, so I don't have that capability, but it's pretty cool that you can just set your cell phone down there and if you have something that's relatively new, it'll charge right up for you. Two cup holders right here, a gear shift with sport gear, uh, sport shift capability up top. You just touch the plus and minus buttons if you want to adjust the gears. Heated seats right here. It's only about 60 degrees right now, so I didn't play around with these too much. Traction control button right here. And then you also have a center armrest. Look, you got the standard Starbuck napkins. Those come with every rental I have, pretty much. Down in here, you have a nice size storage space with two USB ports and a light that lights up the whole space. That's nice to find things down here. Over on the passenger side, we have a glove box. Let's take a look. Kind of small, but uh, you know, big enough to carry your owner's manual. Let's take a look. Ooh, this feels kind of fancy. 2019 Impala. Uh, just enough room to keep your owner's manual, your registration, and a couple other odds and ends. All right, so the back seat, most important, I think, is leg room. If you'll see, there's a ton of space back here. Now, I have this seat pushed back a comfortable distance. I'm six feet tall. I like the seat a little bit further back than most, and there's still plenty of leg room right here. This has got to be close to uh, 10 inches between the back of my knees and the back of that seat. You also have pockets right here built into the back of both seats. This is uh, fairly nice and smooth leather, so this feels it's made out of really quality stuff. Uh, on the back of the center armrest for the front seat passengers, you'll notice there's two dedicated vents. Then you also have a three-pronged power port, which I think is fantastic. That means you can pretty much plug anything you want into this car and it'll charge right up. On the doors themselves, pretty standard stuff here. One window control and a door latch. Uh, nice, smooth leather, though, all across the door. There is also a center armrest with two cup holders in it. And then something I always like to check out is the car seat anchors. These are fairly shallow. If you notice, if I adjust the seats just a little bit, you can see the car seat anchor itself. So that means that it's probably going to be pretty simple to install a car seat if you need to. All right, so that's all the major highlights of the front and back seat. Let's end things by popping the trunk and taking a look back here. This is where I think the Impala really shines. You get a huge space back here. It's also nice and rectangular, so you can haul a ton of stuff without any problems. Underneath the floor of this area, there's also a spare tire with some additional space to keep some tools. And it's also nice to see that by pulling on these tabs right here, you can fold down those rear seats pretty much effortlessly and reveal an even larger storage space to haul items. And that cutout between the trunk space and the cabin of the vehicle is fairly large too, so you should be able to take advantage of this space fairly easily. All right, so that's pretty much everything end to end on the 2019 Chevy Impala Premier. Gotta say, I'm a pretty big fan of this vehicle. I know that sedans aren't in vogue right now. Everyone likes the crossovers and the SUVs, but really, this one's a pleasure to drive. It's chock full of uh, nice amenities inside the vehicle. It handles well, it accelerates beautifully, and that engine just really humps. It's something you really do need to experience. So if you get a chance, please give this one a shot, and when you do, leave me a comment below so you can tell me all about it. I really would like to hear from you. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time when I rent my 107th.
rental car. I'll see you then.